How'd you first get into this business? What what drove you to get into this business? Uh, well, in my former life, I built swimming pools and spas in Key Largo, Florida for 28 years. Paradise. Yes, paradise. <laughs> uh, and then uh, our kids were born in Baptist Hospital in Miami. And in the early 90s, the policemen were patrolling the grade schools for drugs. So we moved to St. Louis. Then I commuted for 14 years. Back and forth to? Just to Key Largo. Wow. Yeah. And then, oh, two, I sold my business and was looking for opportunities up here. And I came across a cabinet company out in St. Clair, Missouri, and family-owned little mom-and-pop business, and was going to buy that. I interviewed all their employees, and we were ready to sign on the dotted line, and they had about $200,000 $200, worth of business that was going through some stage of production. And so I asked them, I said, you know, let me know how much you got in there for materials, labor, and your profit. We'll work out a system to, you know, divvy up what's in, in the offer. Well, they came back a day later and said, we can't do that. And I said, why? And they said, because sometimes we don't know what our costs are until we get the invoice from the vendor. Now, being a small mom, pop business, that scared the crap out of me. Yeah. And I figured what other landlines have been a fun. So I bailed out of that. I went to work for uh, a small uh, kitchen and bath company at an office in St. Louis and one uh, over, in, I don't know, over in Illinois, just across the river. Okay. And uh, I worked for them for about a year and a half and they went broke. And so then I started this business. And so I had a partner for a while. I was the designer. And uh, so in 06, uh, we started this business and she left me about in 08 when the crash hit because it wasn't enough business for let alone me other than trying to support both of us. So, and I struggled through that and finally um, the rest is what they call us. So. Wow.